The question is, can you unplug a hardwired smoke detector? The answer is yes. Why should you be doing this? You should only be doing this to change the batteries or maintenance the smoke detector. If you came to this video looking to unplug the smoke detector to throw it in a drawer and forget about it, then you came to the wrong video. The only reason that you should be doing this, like I said, is to maintenance or change the battery. Smoke detectors are for your safety, so you should never discard them or unplug them or put them in a drawer. Stick around and we'll show you how we Now as always, the first thing you should do is of course shut the power off. A lot of times you'll find your smoke detectors are on with a lighting circuit or a plug circuit. And this is so if you shut the power off to the smoke detector, um, you'll lose power to your lights or your plugs. So you should always shut those off first. Now most modern smoke detectors will just simply unscrew counterclockwise until they come out of their clip holder. Now you'll see on the back that you have the wires associated that are plugged into the wall or that are into the wall um, hardwired to make the smoke de detector hardwired. They also have a battery compartment so they have a battery backup. On the back of the smoke detector these simply just pull out. So there's a number of little pins. It's a pin connector. There's two pins that line up on one side and one on the other. Now they're all a little different but they simply just plug in and unplug. We need to make sure that we get that correct when we put it back in otherwise it won't fit correctly. But these are designed so that you, you can unplug them. You see? Now I'm going to show you a couple of different designs here and depending on the style of smoke detector they're all a little bit different. But the one I just pulled down we're simply going to push the button and then the battery is going to pop out. This is how we're going to change the battery, reinstall the new battery and then put it back up on the wall which I'll show in a minute. Now depending on the style of smoke detector these all come with the back base and they all go on clockwise. So they're going to screw on clockwise and lock in place and they're going to unlock and counterclockwise. Now on the back of this pin connector you can see there's two little arms. You have to push those together to get it out. And again that has three little, uh, three little tabs on the back. So then we need to push that back in and you'll hear a click. This one here we have no choice, and this is a relatively new one by kid. We have no choice but to take this one off, so we have to go counterclockwise, pull it out. You can see in the wall, and then this pin connector comes out on an angle. So as you can see with this one on the back, it has a little holder here that we need to depress before we can get this out. And then that pops right out. The problem is, is there's a little holder arm on the back that holds the battery compartment in place, so before we can change the battery, we need to get that out. This actually has two AAs. See? So they're all different depending on the style that you have. This is a brand new smoke detector. And then we're going to push that pin back in place. If you're wondering what the three different wires are, the black and the white are the power, the 120 volt, and the red is a communicator, which communicates to all of the other smoke detectors. Now we're going to go ahead and show you how we put it back up. So once the battery has been changed, it's just a simple matter of fact of lining the pin connector holes back up with the back of the smoke detector, plugging it back in place, making sure it's in firmly, sticking the smoke detector back up, sticking the smoke detector back up and turning it clockwise. That will lock the smoke detector in place for another good six to eight months of use. And last but not least, we're obviously going to not forget to turn the power back on. Again, this video is just for demonstration purposes to show how we get that pin connector apart so that we can service the battery on the smoke detector since they're all different. For more videos like this, please like and subscribe. If you're looking how, on how smoke detectors interlock together, you can click on the video right up here. We'll see you next time.